Hello, Roger Killen here. Uh, 90 days to go between now and October the 19th. Today was all about developing uh, terms and conditions that are attached to ticket sales. Uh, every person who buys a ticket checks a little box that says that they have uh, read and understood and agree with the terms and conditions uh, that are attached to ticket sales. In total, Get Inspired Talks has around 20 of these uh, terms and conditions. They uh, begin with a description of the ticket uh, and uh, the price and what's included or not included in the price. Uh, then they segue into the question of uh, reserved seats versus general admission. General admission means first come, first seated. Reserved means that whenever you buy a certain number of tickets, in our case it's eight, uh, you're entitled to reserve that section of seats. Uh, ticket policies get then uh, segue nicely in it in, into a description of all your policies. Now these policies can range from a refund to a ticket transfer, uh, age restrictions, or late arrivals, anti-harassment, anti-sales, uh, a whole bunch of issues that uh, you might not think at first glance would find their way into a, a terms and conditions of a ticket sales but they're absolutely relevant whenever these uh, awkward situations do arise. Uh, then we talk about not permitted activities. Uh, is it okay to use flash photography inside the auditorium? Obviously not. Is it okay to take audio and video recordings of the speaker? Uh, in our case, uh, the answer is no. And then what do we do about people who arrive uh, at the auditorium door whenever the whenever a talk is in process. Do we let them in, uh, or do we ask them to wait until the end of the talk? In our case, we ask them to wait until the end of the talk, because uh, it's very, very disturbing for a speaker uh, to be interrupted midstream by a flash of light that happens whenever the back door is opened, and some a late arrival uh, uh, enters the auditorium. And then we need to address uh, permissions. Uh, in our case, we have a behind the speaker camera that uh, is intended to capture the speaker's standing ovation that we expect the speaker to receive. Uh, in that case, the cam back of stage camera captures hundreds of head and shoulders of those people who have risen to acknowledge the speaker with a standing ovation. Each and every one of those people need to have given their uh, permission uh, to appear on that uh, footage. So there you go, terms and conditions attached to ticket sales. A surprising amount of work needs to go into this to be comprehensive and yet, uh, yet, yet fair and not oppressive. That was today's focus. Tomorrow, there will be something different. I have no doubt about that. Until then, Roger and out.